Yeah, I think it's time to head out on another adventure. Me and Montana are going to set out on the open road again. Montana's telling me it's ready for another adventure. Montana is loaded up and ready to go. Uh-oh. I see the fishing stuff on top. This might give you a little hint. Another historical southern Indiana beautiful sight coming right up. Ohio River. Ohio River is a little under a thousand miles. 981 miles. Starts all the way up in Pennsylvania. Ends down in Cairo, Illinois. Five million people get their drinking water from the Ohio River. It's beautiful. Beautiful river. So the destination today is not the Ohio River. It's a river that flows into the Ohio called the Blue River. That's what we're gonna float today. We're gonna go out on the Blue I've been going to the Blue River. I bet you it's been a half a century I've been going to the Blue River. Right out of high school, we used to take canoe trips down the Blue. Yeah, the Blue River itself is 57 miles long. It starts around Salem, Indiana, not far from Louisville, Kentucky, and drains all the way down into the Ohio River. So we're going to get on down there. We're not going to go to the normal place where people usually go to canoe the Blue River. They started Milltown. And you can rent canoes there. And I'm gonna show you is a place that I've been going to for years and years and years. And I like it because rarely do I ever see anybody out on the water. It's downriver from Milltown, but it is well worth checking out. So that's where we're gonna go, the secret spot. So that secret little spot that I like to put in is you want to head toward Harrison Crawford and right here by the Blue River Chapel. There's an exit here coming off the main highway, Blue Chapel Road. And you take this road on down and I'll show you where the access is. It's nice. growth trees. The bluebells are beautiful. That's the Blue Chapel here on the Blue River. It's pretty. A nice little graveyard here. I'm a little concerned. Before I left on this trip, I checked the charts. I always check the river charts before I go out on a river, especially in a canoe and a kayak. 
and it looked to me like the Blue River had really experienced a spike in the last couple days. Pretty far up ways there was a real spike and going down here and looking at it right here it looks like it's flowing pretty good which becomes a problem when you're solo and you're in a canoe. There's only one way you can go when you're by yourself and that's upriver. You always want to go upriver first. You never want to go downriver and then try to come back up. Most of the time I will go upriver. It looks to me like the current's pretty strong. I may not be able to do it. So I'll go down here and take a look at the site and take some photographs. I guess I'll decide whether I want to try to put the canoe in or maybe save this trip for another day and go explore somewhere else. Never know. You never know about an adventure till you get there. What it's going to be like, you do the best you can and go from there. Let's check out the launch site. It's right down the road. Yeah, this trip has already turned out to be a little bit of a challenge. It's pretty cool out here. It's probably in the high 50s, maybe, maybe 60, 62. There's a light rain coming down. The current's fast. <laughs> Always an adventure. You never know. But, you know, I thought I'd take the Montana out for a day or two. Yeah, just get it out on the road, test everything out. You can see I've got all my gear back here. And I want to just work on it and how to arrange it. I'm going to try out the bench bed that I made back here tonight and see how it goes. You just never know. You take an adventure, you go on it. You've got to learn to just be flexible. Do whatever you can. No, so. I don't risk things too much. If I just go down here at the launch site and I feel like the, the river is flowing just a little bit too fast, um, I'm not going to risk it because that's another thing in the springtime. There's a lot of people will drown in the springtime because that water is so cold still. That water will not warm up until June. And so if you fall in, it's instant panic. Uh, you just kind of basically cramp up, seize up. And so I'm not willing to do that. I'm never willing to risk a video for my life. And that's that's important. A lot of people are getting hurt these days. A lot of blogging and stuff are, are slipping and falling because they want to get that dramatic video that nobody else has got, right? And so they're willing to risk everything for it. And I won't do that. That's, that's not a good plan. Especially the younger people. If you're one that's doing that, don't do that. It's not worth risking your life for. And somebody else has probably done it anyways. Just... Be safe out there and just get that good footage, get good photography. famous Blue River in southern Indiana through Crawford County. It's beautiful. Now, I can honestly say all the years that I have paddled this river, I'm not exactly sure why they call it the Blue River. It's always been, when I see it, is a real pretty green color. I like it is today. Now, I've seen it look like chocolate milk before after a giant rain where a lot of mud has washed into the river. But it doesn't take long for the river to clear out. It's got free flow all the way down to the Ohio River. Most people will put in at Milltown. That's where Canoe Outfitter, Cave Country Canoes is at. They've got a lot of canoes, but there's always a lot going on. Buses coming in and out, you know, a lot of crowds, a lot of family, especially on weekends as it starts to get warmer. A lot of people out there, they want to float, they want to drink, and they want to party, which is okay. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to do that. Used to do that in my younger days, but now... I prefer access point like this right here because sometimes you'll see some bank fishermen, but that's about it. And I have went up and down this river here so many times and never even see a single soul out there. That's why I like coming to places like this. I like discovering, you know, the places that, you know, very few people go. You just don't have a lot of crowds. You don't have a lot of noise.
not sure. Still deciding what to do. Whether I'm gonna try this and just basically go up a little ways and come back or just make this trip another day. Yeah, I was just thinking about Blue River fluctuates so much that I have seen entire parking lot where I'm parked at right now, I have seen it completely underwater. This whole thing underwater right here. So yeah, when it floods, it comes up pretty fast. It's a pretty wild river. Okay, finally got my radar to pick up. Looks to me like this light rain is gonna hang around probably for another, possibly two more hours for sure. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel this trip going down the Blue River. I can come back and visit this another time. It would be much better if it wasn't raining with all the camera equipment and trying to do the filming. And also if the current wasn't quite so, so strong, I could put the canoe in and go upstream and do a little fishing and not always worry about it it wanting to drag me back especially in a canoe you know i've got some sea kayaks sea kayaks are a little bit better you know they'll go up river a little bit easier but in a canoe you've got a lot of friction there a lot of pressure wanting to constantly push you back so i think it's going to be a good plan I, i'm going to go ahead and cancel this trip you never know this is the way it goes when you plan on trips like this I checked it last night and this rain was supposed to push south. Instead, it just uh, decided to track east and it's coming right across here. So there's rain from here, probably, uh, I would say probably 60, 70 miles right along, right to the west and heading east and right across here. That's the nice thing about modern day radar. We can check it these days. You can look at it, you can figure it out, and you can see, well, it's no longer really a guess. You can pretty well see what the weather's gonna do. Over there. Oh, by the way, thank you for coming to the channel. Sorry I couldn't do the river trip today, but I'll find something to film. Always do. This is one thing I always try to do when I drive along these country roads is take the time to stop and look at things. And I saw a really nice cliff face coming up here. So I'm gonna walk down here and see if I can't get a couple good photographs of it. This is a beautiful area. This is between Sulphur, Indiana and St. Croix. Not exactly sure what highway it is. I can check on that. But just a beautiful little stretch of road. Southern Indiana beauty. Love it. Yeah, if you take the time to stop along the way, you'll find things like this. That is really a scenic outlook right there. Wow. Anyways, right along the highway, but you gotta take the time to pull over and take a look. All kind of things to explore. Sure is beautiful countryside. <laughs> 